Hey everyone, in this video, let's take a look at five tips that will help you leverage and use AI content in a unique way, either for your e-learning courses or for any other purpose that you want to use it for. So let's get moving. Now, before we move forward and go into the topics, I'd like to request you to please subscribe to our channel in case you like this content or check out our services and courses with links in the description. AI is the buzzword right we all have heard about it chat gpt is the latest innovation we have been hearing about ai for several years now now chat gpt has sort of uh, made it available to the masses so uh, how to leverage the power of ai for your courses it's been talked about a lot so let's take a look at five ways in which you can do it for yourself number one is proofread and fact check the ai content number two is be unique with your commands. Number three, humanize and tailor it for your audience. Number four, ensure data compliance. And number five, use it only to generate ideas. So let's take a look at each of these in a little more detail. Now the first step is to proofread the content. It is because like AI is not human generated. You type in a query, and then it gives you the required results. Now, what happens is, as we all know, internet is not 100% accurate. There are incorrect pieces of information spread across the globe, or there are various websites which just work, or which are popular just by uh, propagating conspiracy theories. So hence, it's necessary uh, to fact check what AI leverages to generate your content. You can't go ahead and use it blindly on your blog or in your e-learning courses. You have to be smart with what AI gives you. Next is be unique with your commands. We all have been in a place wherein we search for something in Google and we don't get the desired results on the first screen. Now what we do in such scenario is we go back and optimize our keywords. We optimize the search that we just attempted. And voila, we get the results that we wanted. Similarly, AI is also very user driven. It could be only as smart as you type in. So hence, try to be unique with your commands. I'll give you another scenario. Let's say uh, you search for a particular topic using a certain set of keywords. Now someone else across the globe ran the exact same search. Now AI is going to yield very similar results for both of you. Now. Because of this, your content won't be unique. Now we all want our content, our courses, anything that we create to be unique, to get more likes, more hits, more attention from our learners and the target audience. Hence, try to be unique with what you type in and ask AI to do. Next, humanize it and tailor it for your audience. Everything that we do is for our audience. Hence, don't just take what AI gives you and run with it. You have to be smart in using what you get from AI. Like I said in the first tip, humanize it, make sure it's unique, and make sure you give examples, use cases, which will make the content more engaging for your target audience. Next, ensure that you are compliant with your data security policies. Now, AI is fairly new. It gets smarter with using what you share. It is a self-learning, piece of algorithm. Hence, the data that you put in or the data that you generate may be saved on its servers. It may be accessible by someone else. It may be used by the, the AI company to get better, to learn more. As a result, your data may not be 100% secure. There are some concerns currently about the data security with AI. I'm sure as we move forward, things will stabilize like it happens with all disruptions in the tech industry. But as of now, I would recommend caution in uh, using data and see whether your company, enterprise, or your school permits using AI to generate and use content. Now, another way to use AI is just to generate ideas. You don't generate the entire piece of content with AI. You can just use AI to generate a bunch of ideas. Like for example, in case you're creating a course and you're stuck, with where to start. So you can maybe consider asking AI to generate a lesson plan 
and then move forward by proofreading it, customizing it for your audience, like I shared in the first few tips. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching if you have seen it so far. And once again, please do like it or subscribe to our channel in case you like this content and stay updated with more of what we create. Thank you.